Today we're going to look at this TST tire monitoring system. We're going to set this thing up from beginning to end. You may have bought one of these just like this. It's never been set up before. If you bought a camping trailer that came with one of these, there's a chance your dealership might have set it up for you. And if that's the case, then I'll show you what to do from there later on in the video. This is going to be a first time setup. And take it out of the package. You'll need to charge this up separately, but it should come with at least some battery life to it. Turn it on right here on the side. And this is the screen you're going to get. Now we're going to go outside in here in just a minute and we're going to program this to each individual tire on the trailer. And we're going to set the temperature and the um, pressure setting and all that sort of stuff. So just a quick run through of this thing while we're inside. From here you're going to want to go to the set. You're going to hold the set button down. And you're going to go here. This says high pressure set. When you go to the arrow keys it's going to scroll over. Low pressure set, high temp, all these different screens. You want to go to learn ID. When you get to learn ID, you're going to hit set. This is going to take you to where we'll go to the individual tires. So right here is a list of pretty much all the tires you can program with this thing. This is set up for a tow vehicle and a trailer um, and you can have several different trailers in here. So for today we're just going to set this up for a camper. So whenever you program all of these you need to go to the tire that you want it set for. So this positive button and minus button here will switch between the tires. I'm going to go back to the trailer. Since this trailer only has two axles, I'm going to go, I'm going to use these inner two right here on the front and then also the inner two on the rear. So we're going to go to each tire and we're going to go and hold it up against the tire itself and allow it to pair. So let's go outside and take a look at that part of it. These sensors, if, if you get a trailer that has a sensor already in the tire, sensor should be opposite of the valve stem all the way across. Now the reason I have the trailer jacked up right now is because the way you're going to want to do this is you want these sensors in the tire to be as far away from each other as possible. Otherwise, the tire monitor can cross code and you can lose codes as you put them in which can become really frustrating. So what you want to do if you can jack the trailer up and put the valve stems as close together as possible. That way your sensors are as far apart as possible. Now if you've bought the monitor system that goes on aftermarket with the caps that screw onto the valve stems, you'll install those on the valve stems according to the instructions that come with them and then you'll do this process the same way except you'll want those sensors to be as far apart from each other as possible and you'll want to hold your monitor up to those valve stem sensors as opposed to holding them up to the tire like we're fixing to do right now. Come back to our monitor system here. We're going to do like we did before. We're going to hold down the set button. We're going to go back to learn ID. I'm going to hit set again. Now these are all the tires that you can set up and you can do up to four different trailers. Uh, right here you're looking at the tow vehicle. We want to go to the trailer back here. and You want to use the positive and minus buttons to scroll to the tire that you want to use. Since this is a double axle trailer with single, single wheels, I usually go with these inner two right here on the front axle and then the inner two on the back axle just to keep it uniform. So you want to go to the tire that you want to program. Now, with this being the front of the vehicle, the front of our trailer is actually facing this way. So we'd kind of look at it upside down and we would go to the axle and the tire that we're going to program. So technically right now, if we go to this front tire right here, that's where we'll be at. So here we've got our valve stem on that side. We have the sensors inside the tire as opposed to the valve stem sensors. So we're going to go across here 
to where our sensor should be. We're going to go to that tire wherever we want it on here. And we're going to make sure we're in trailer one, which is this number one right here next to all the F's. Um, if you want to set up multiple trailers, you can change it from one trailer to the next, and we'll show you how to do that in a minute. We go to that tire, we're going to hit set. And these F's are going to flash. You want to hold this monitor right here to the outside of the tire. We're going to hit go, and it's going to bring up a it could bring up a short code. We want to wait for the six digit code. Once we get the six digit code, then we want to hit set to program that tire. So we hit go. That's not the code we need. That is the code we need. We hit set. And it programs that code to that tire. So then we're going to switch across here to the same side but the back axle. We're going to go back here to the back tire. We'll hit set. Make the F's flash. Hit go. We get the six digit code. Hit set again. So now we're going to hop on the other side of the trailer and we're going to program the other side the exact same way that we did this side. We're going to scroll over to this rear tire here and do the same as last time our set button, F's are flashing, hit go, get our six digit code, hit set. And then we'll move up here to the front tire, hit set, go, wait for the code, set again. That's how you program all your tire sensors. Okay, now we're back inside after programming all four of our tire sensors one thing that I will show you on here that I mentioned earlier this number one right here stands for trailer one now if you wanted to program your say your camper to one and a utility trailer to two and put sensors on everything you can have multiple different trailers and you can just go to the trailer that you're pulling at the time you do that by hitting this go button right here on top that takes us to trailer two you could program sensors for that trailer and trailer three and trailer four and back to trailer one. So that is an option that you have with this system. So now we're going to go through and we're going to make sure that we have a six digit code for all four of the tires that we programmed. And it looks like we do. So that means that everything worked out okay. So the next thing we want to do is set up our temperature and pressure settings. So in order to do this, we're going to need to hit the back button. It's going to take us back to this screen that has Learn ID. You want to scroll until you get to high pressure and low pressure. Now it's important that you do low pressure first so that you have enough room to adjust the high pressure. Um, because these normally come from the factory preset very high and your camping trailer is probably going to be a lot lower than the settings that they give you. So start with the low pressure, hit set, and right here is where a lot of people make a mistake. You can program the temperature here, but you see which axle is flashing? This is the axle, the front axle of a tow vehicle. So we need to hit this go button and we need to switch to the axle of the trailer that we're working on. So here's all our front axles for the trailers. So I normally start people out with 15 pounds over their tire pressure for a max and 15 pounds under for a min. Now right now these tires are 65 pound tires so for a low pressure setting we're going to set this at front axle at 50. And I'm just using these arrow keys here, this plus and minus, take it down to 50. Hit your um, go button again to go to the back axle. 50 as well okay now if you did have multiple trailers here you could continue hitting the go button to go to trailer 2 and trailer 3 and trailer 4 <clears throat> but right now we're just doing trailer 1 so once you get those set then you need to hit the set button to program everything and it's going to take you back here once you're here you can go to the high pressure and we're going to set the high pressure now. Push set. 
again hit go get back to the axle that you want to program I passed it up if you pass it up you got to go through all four trailers takes you back to the tow vehicle all right so now we're setting the high pressure which is going to be 80 since we're going to go 15 pounds over you don't necessarily have to do 15 pounds this is all relative to your tires and what pressure you're running and what you prefer this is just kind of how I get people going whenever they buy a new trailer okay that axle go to the back axle bring it down to 80 Okay, we're at 80, hit set, and that takes care of your high and low pressure. Now you're going to hit your arrow keys and go to high temp. Hit set. Now this covers everything. You don't have to select an axle or anything. This is the temperature for all your tires. They come preset at 158. I uh, figure that's probably a good enough place to start if you want to adjust yours. These arrow keys adjust it. I'm going to leave this one at 158 and I'm going to hit set. It's going to take me back here. Now once all of those things are done, I hit back, which takes me to this screen. And these are going to be all for the trailer tires that we programmed. Now if you had your tow vehicle, if you had your spare tires, any of that stuff, that would all pop up here as well. So, let's say that you bought a trailer and this has been set up or let's say that maybe um, your trailer has been sitting for a while and you, you just pulled this out and you're going to use it you turn it on it's going to go back to that screen that we just saw now right here is when you're going to have to be patient take this thing set it in the trailer let it do this for a little while this may take 10 minutes just depending um, but it's going to go through each tire and each tire is going to flash and they're going to start pulling up codes one at a time uh, whenever they pull up the code and it's going to show you the pressure and the temperature of the tire but you're going to have to let it sit there and do this um, don't get concerned about it it does take a few minutes just let it do it let it do its thing and it'll eventually pull up all the codes now if you've just turned your monitor system on and it's not doing anything if it looks like this then you need to hit this minus button and the go button at the same time to pull that up but if it's doing this then that means everything is fine see there we just pulled up one code and that's our pressure and our temperature so let's let it sit here until it pulls up all four of the codes okay so now we've sat here roughly maybe four or five minutes and it has pulled up all of our codes. Now, right, this is the way it's going to be going down the road. You'll, it comes with a mounting deal. You can mount this in your dashboard. It's just going to go through all of your tires and it's going to tell you the pressure and the temperature. Now, if you want to go to a tire specifically, you can hit your arrow key and you can flip from one to the other if you, you know, have a reason to look at one tire in specific. And then this will tell you if you have a fast leak or a slow leak or, uh, if it's over pressured, under pressured, uh, over, overheated, whatever the case may be, this will tell you all of that. So that is how you set up one of these. If you have any questions about it, you can leave a comment or you can call the phone number that is in your box that this comes in. I have called this company several times for different questions and they're extremely helpful. Um, you'll find somebody nice to talk to and they'll usually be able to answer any of your questions right there on the spot.